Hey guys, how's it going today? Oh, I was gonna take my hair down because it looks like poo-poo up. We'll decide what looks better. Not looking too hot today, but that's okay because we're still gonna film. I was in a terrible mood today. Just moping around, feeling sorry for myself. I was being sad and I was like, I'm not gonna film today. And um, I changed my mind and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna film today and I'm gonna make myself feel better because this always makes me feel better. So here we go, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the uh, Aptogen Soothe and Hydrate Active Mist. Guys, I have fallen in love with this stuff. It is so good. It's just like soothing and hydrating and ah, uh, it's just everything you would want it to be and more. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Skin Aqua SPF. SPF. And there's an alarm going off in my living room now and I don't know why. And it's just gonna have to continue to go off cause I'm not getting up to get it. So how are you guys doing today? It's kind of gloomy outside, a little gloomy. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with my Glossier Prep Priming, well, let me see the official name before I go. Priming Moisturizer, Priming Moisturizer. My gray hairs are coming in and I'm like, do I wanna dye them? Do I, or do I wanna be a silver fox? I don't know. I kind of want to be a silver fox. I kind of need an assistant to turn that off and no one's here. And that's Norma going crazy chewing on her bone, by the way. It wouldn't be a video without Norma, would it? Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Reduce Redness. Reduce redness. I'm just gonna play with makeup today, you know? I'm just gonna have fun. Just gonna do what I wanna do today. I've had way too much life happen last couple of weeks and I just wanna play with makeup and not think about it. And where better to do that than here with you guys, my favorite people. Okay, I'm gonna do, I liked this Bite Beauty, um, Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation so much I bought it. So I have a tube on its way. So I'm just gonna get a blob of that. But I really wanna see how it does mix with my um, MAC face and body, of course. I'm just gonna do a little bit of MAC face and body. Just a little bit. It's beautiful, you guys. It's just like what I want in a foundation. Okay, that alarm is the alarm to go pick up my son and my husband's already out and about and he's gonna do that, so I hope you guys can't hear it. It's really bothering me. But this foundation is just so beautiful. God, I am pale. Wow, I'm really pale. Get wet wipe here really prepared today as I sat down so bear with me Let's see how this looks close up looks terrible not terrible I just really need to blend it I'm 
See, this doesn't go on with your hands that great either. It's it's a it wants to go on with a brush. But it does it lovely once you put it on with a brush. Okay, you guys, I gotta go turn that alarm off. Nobody else is here to do it, so give me a second here. Okay, alarm is off. Foundation is on. Let's go in with some concealer. I'm gonna go in with my stretch concealer by Glossier. See if you can see that. It's by Glossier. We all know this. A little bit here, a little bit here. A little bit for my redness peeking through. There's not much. Um, I think I'm going to take the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer back because it's just not as creamy as my Glossier one. It was nice, but it just wasn't my Glossier one. And I don't need two. I don't need one that I'm not going to use. You know what I mean? I already have my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer that I love. So, I think I'm going to take it back. Now, Katie Jane Hughes says, when you're blending out your concealer or anything on your face, do it so gently that the bristles don't even move on your brush. And I was like, wow. So gently that the bristles don't even move. Are you trying to get me? That lady knows her stuff. Okay, some bronzer. Let's go. Oh, I gotta set that. I keep forgetting to set it. Norma, are you trying to get me? I can't get my powder out. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Okay. A little bit of powder. I'm gonna use a real technique setting brush for the powder under my eyes. Because these are magnificent. Don't even let the bristles move. Okay. Powder done. Not exciting at all. Okay. Let's get some glow up in here with some Charlotte Tilbury. Ow, Norma, you're scratching my back, woman. What are you doing? Oh, now you're snipping me all over. Your whiskers are poking through my shirt. Get this hair out of here. Now, this is one of the lightest colors of this product, but um, they have them in all color, like all kinds of kinds. Can I talk? All kinds of colors. And a lot of people get the darker color to kind of like bronze up their skin. And when we get into the summer times. That's when I'll start to like use a bronzer color on my skin. Norma, don't be gross on camera. You be a lady. Norma. That's when I'll start bringing out my bronzer, bronzing stuff to kind of like bronze up my skin. In the winter, there's just no point because I am so pale. I am Casper. That foundation, it just, you give it a minute and it just starts to look so gorgeous and dewy. Um, that change maker foundation. Okay, let's do some bronzer. I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. Or, yeah, Milk, Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. My Real Technique Sponge. Norma, you really into this? You really into this, Norma? And just go a little above. They say if you have a rounder face to go a little bit above where your ear is. So I'm going to try that. Because me got the chubby face. There you go. Get on the bed and chill. And always blend it into the hairline. Which I do. It does kind of thin it out a little more. 
I like that. I quite like that. Mm -hmm. Alexa's making weird noises. Let's get this hair out of my way. A little above the ear. And always into the hairline. And it's supposed to thin your face out even more. Which I am all about. Thin that bad boy out. Chubaroo. I like it. Okay, and then we'll do the dub chin because we don't need a mirror for that. It looks a little stronger on this side than it does the other side. Norma, would you just lay down? Make sure it's really blended. And then I'm gonna set it with some Fenty bronzer because I've been missing it. I love my Fenty bronzer. Of course, Juan's out there barking at everything today. There he is. I'm so quiet. What do you want to talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. And then bounce and blur and blurred buff by Bare Minerals. I love this blush. I can't get over it. Maybe I should use something new. I should put it down, Jennifer. Use something new. I'm going to go in with this Julep blush that I got. It's cream to powder. We'll try that. We'll try that. It's a beautiful corally color. Put it on my hand and then pick it up with the other side of the Real Technique sponge. I'm going to bounce it on. Oh, that's pretty. See, this is just what I needed. A little makeup make me feel better my brother my baby brother was like I just don't see you being into makeup you're just such a hippie and I'm like you know what it's like an escape for me it's just like an escape from reality and I love it okay that blush is cute I like it I like it a lot oh I forgot I had a new bronzer from physicians formula I could have used that. Okay, not gonna dwell. And then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand. Can you see that? For as my highlighter. The little thing is coming off. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Take a little bit of that. Just put it on my high points. Little Cupid's bow action. Bridge of the nose. Okay. Should I do my eyes? That is the question. I'll do a little bit of something to them. I don't know how much time we have here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Double Entendre palette. And I am going to take Naked. And the way it's spelled is really cute. Naked. I don't know if you can see that. What is it gonna show? Naked. I like how it's spelled. 
naked. And I'm gonna take it on this giant brush and there's no mirror in the palette, which kind of sucks. Maybe I should go in with a smaller brush. That's very light. But also pretty pigmented. Oh, I gotta get a, a better setup where I'm like sitting in a chair with a desk in front of me. That. Blend it on the eye that I can't blend on. is so hard for me to blend on I don't know why and then I'll go in with extracurricular which is right here extracurricular oh that is gonna be so pigmented Oh my gosh, that is not brown. That is like orange. Okay, this is not going well. I'm gonna take it with some of that powder I have from setting my under eyes, try to blend it out. Sorry if I was just blocking my whole face. No, I wasn't. I really gotta figure out the fast forward thing on my camera. Okay, I'm gonna take a touch of that on this brush or over here. And just really buff it out. pretty sorry about the grunting noises my freaking back is killing me okay and then let's just do a shimmer on the lid there's a couple of shimmers in here keep it PG how about that one keep it PG so pretty. Oh, it's more gold than it looks. It looks straight up silvery in the pan. Oh no, it kind of looks goldy. My eyes are playing tricks on me. If anybody else looks at an eyeshadow in the pan and then like puts it on is and is like totally surprised by the color that's me I'm like totally surprised so here's my eyes they look a little crazy I know Ooh, I'll really blend that out okay a little better and let's see let's do some brows maybe that'll make the eyes look a little better wow I really wish I could play music in my videos but the whole copyright thing kind of ruins it
Norma, you be a good girl laying in the bed. You be a good girl. I love it when it's just a little windy outside and I can hear all my wind chimes. I'm obsessed with wind chimes. I have like, I think like five or six of them out there. And my husband got me a really, really nice one because I always ask him, you love me? He says, yes. I said, forever. He says, yes. I said, no matter what? He says, yes. So he had it in, engraved, I love you forever, no matter what. And it's just the sweetest, and it's a really good quality wind chime. So I'm excited about it. I love that one. So I have a bunch of them out there. And I love when it's just a little windy and you can hear them. Little soap brow. I'm telling you guys, if you like makeup, and you do not watch Katie Jane Hughes, watch Katie Jane Hughes. You gotta watch her stories. She uploads like every day a new makeup tutorial and it's like, like how do you do that? I still feel like I need more blush. I feel a little washed out. But I have all my powder blushes like put away. Woo! Okay, maybe I'll just put a little bit more of this on. My eyes are like still in the show right now. better it looks more purposeful <laughs> okay and then I've heard to spray your face before you do mascara so it's a new thing that I've learned oh, I love spraying my face which is kind of common sense common sense And I used to do it all the time, but then I just get caught up in filming and I forget. So anyways, let's do some mascara. So what are you guys up to? Let me know in the comments. It's Friday. It's a happy day. My son will be home soon. My husband will be home soon. I can smooch on them. Love on them. I just love it. I love Fridays. There's no rush on the weekends to get up and get pee out to school. My husband has to work, but he works from home on the weekends, so that's another bonus. Things are looking up. My niece has another competition that I wish I could go to. She killed it last weekend. Little superstar. Little superstar that she is, little Maddie. Auntie loves you. Auntie Jen loves you. I love all my nieces and nephews so much. They're just so special. All of them. My Ashley, Brayden, Caleb, Caleb, Jaden, and Maddie. They're just all so special. Violet, Owen, Benjamin. I didn't get to see them. I got to see their parents. I was missing my niece and nephew. I said, it's great to see you guys, but next time don't come without the kids. 
But it wasn't a time for kids to be here. It would have been too sad. The other day, my son asked me to look me look up something on his phone, and <clears throat> he looked up, what is heaven and what does it look like? Because we just tell him, you know, Grandpa is in heaven with Grandma. And it broke my heart. So I'm going to tell him today what I think heaven looks like. It just made me so sad because he's so curious, you know. And I get it. I get the curiosity. I really do. What to do for the lips. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. I got this dose of colors in toast. But I need a little lip gloss on underneath. Put a little bit of this agave. Just a little. Because this is a little matte. Of course, dog hair everywhere. Of course. Looks like this. And I have lip gloss everywhere. Er. And there it goes on. Well, this goes with the warm look. That's for sure. What I can't figure out is if I'm a warm tone girl or a cool tone girl. This is all very warm toned. And it brings out my eyes. But I don't know if I like cool tones better. I'll have to get one of my cool tone palettes out and see. So. This is the look. Hanging out with you guys, playing with makeup. Nothing crazy. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great day. I feel like I forgot something. I probably did. But, anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I probably won't film again until Monday. I think I'm going to start doing like three days a week. Because five days, six days is like so in your face. But I don't know, I might do six days. I kind of like to be in your face. Like I am right now. So what's up with that? Anyways, we'll see. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, maybe not bye-bye. What button am I pushing? Oh, bye-bye.